said there was a boatload of negatives and uh, you know, the old adage is the coach speak, but from game one to two, so it's exciting. We got, uh, you know, we, we got some stats that look cool, but when we, I, I'm sure we watch the tape, we're going to see. I thought the effort was outstanding. I thought defensive effort, we got worked a couple times, but was significantly better. Uh, our kicking game effort, I thought, was really good. I still think we got to keep, you know, bringing the run game along uh, and some things on offense, but we got some playmakers there, that's evident. Um, and it's just, I think, again, we're a young team that can, you know, has got a chance. A lot of guys back, a lot of good young players. We just look forward to, you know, having a good week here. We played this game early. But we'll rest up tomorrow. Kids go to class. We'll meet them in the morning. Uh, we don't really get started until, you know, because we practice in the morning. So we'll meet the, meet the kids before lunch, make sure we get everybody accounted for them, get them to class tomorrow. But then we'll get a good go on Saturday, a good go next uh, Sunday. will be after Tuesday, which I think will really help us moving in the next week because we have very challenging opponent next week. A good start and uh, proud of the way the kids worked and happy to see them rewarded for a pretty good one. Coach, uh, after Shane Wynn got blown up on that punt, it seemed like you guys, I don't know, had a little more purpose on offense. Did you just feel that? Uh, I, yeah, but I don't know. I mean, I was, you know, I, when I was worried about guys, you know, we kept saying, you know, play as hard as you can, have the energy, have the effort, you know, have some fun, but don't lose your focus. So then the thing was, oh, you almost were about retaliatory focus. Hey, they took it, you know, and it was just a kid playing hard. I think it was one of their young guys. When Mike was his first game, and I don't think it's, you know, I mean, it was a shot. But I don't, it was nothing. Sometimes it just happens, you know. And uh, uh, but I think Shane will be fine. And I don't think there's anything. Uh, uh, but I, whether it juices, us, it'd be nice to juice ourselves. We talked about being a good third quarter team. That we need to come, no matter what the situation was. We talked all preseason. We've got to come out of the locker room and play better defense and start the second half better. And uh, was that a part of it? Was that hit a part of it? Because it's a little bit in the mid third quarter. I don't know. But Shane will be fine. Again, I don't think that's a cheap hit. It just happened. Coach, you got uh, Trey Roberson got the opening the starting quarterback, a couple series, and then he went with Nate for a really extended stretch. What was the thinking on how to use him tonight? And is Trey definitely the starter going next week, or is it still kind of open? Well, our thought was we didn't decide until uh, early this morning and told Trey. Um, their battle was about dead even. And yet, the way we practice, because you know, you know, we don't get preseason games. It's a scrimmage, but you never tackle the quarterback. We haven't thought about that. Should we tackle the quarterback? So then, as soon as you do that, you have a bid. You know, you get a cheap injury. So we even had a discussion: should we just go live on the quarterbacks? Because I think that plays sometimes in the Trey's hand when he starts running around, because they can't tackle him. If they get close to him in scrimmage, he's down. And there's sometimes he ain't down, but. Myself being an offensive coach, if I don't call him down, a defensive coach will start fussing at me, so you're it's like two in tech. If you're down, you're down. Uh, the thought was, since it was dead even and Trey's kind of playing, maybe with his hands tied, maybe it wasn't dead even if we're playing for real, let's go to Trey. I did, and then the other thing, Trey was a little sentimental. He was the guy who got hurt, fought hard to come back, and slid him off. He actually took a shot and has a bruise in his chest, like a rib deal, but not great or anything, but he actually took a shot and was a little gimpy, so that's why we went to the other guy. And then the score went to 42 like that. It's like, ah, you know, just kind of went with Cam and Nate from there. So it's not a, I don't think an injury deal. It's hurting him. He was good to go. They said he could play the second half with the way the score was, but he just didn't go back to him. So, so he's definitely the starter going into the next week? I don't know. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't know if we got starters. What, I guess just what I did mean, you? I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I, I got you. you know, I actually voted for someone else. I got vetoed for the starter. I said, my opinion, I like this guy. They said, oh, well, okay, let's go with him. We have a democracy. Who'd you vote for? Huh? Who'd you vote for? I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, I just, what did you sort of think about the way those three in particular handled just that entire situation? Pretty good, because I was working about it. And, and, and I saw some other guys, I didn't like the way they handled some things. Because as the ball went around, I saw some guys wanting touches, not giving touches. And when that selfishness gets in, and you, you know, I mean, it's, I mean, the more plays we make, the better we're going to do, the better you're going to do. So it's not my carries, my throws, my catches. My tackles, my plays, it's our plays, what we do. And there's a couple guys I was kind of excited. I, I, I wasn't very appreciative. And they weren't bad, but it wasn't what I wanted. I expect, But it wasn't going maybe their way. And their number wasn't being called yet. They wouldn't get the ball in their hands yet. They wouldn't get on the defensive field yet, whatever. So uh, I thought those three guys handled it well because we didn't have a big battle. <clears throat> I, I asked the two guys that could be redshirted if they wanted to be redshirted. And they said, I want to play. And I said, well, good, it helps me. But what if you play 12 plays? As the year goes, what if you played the first game? And you didn't get hot. Somebody else did. I don't know what's going to happen. 
And so I said, you know, they, they said we prefer to play. And I said, okay, you know, because I just don't want. I, I got to look at those kids. That wasn't a big. That wasn't a big deal. You know, I mean, Trey had been redshirted. The other two had not. So if my question then was, I don't know what's going to happen, but if you play a little, are you going to be mad and think you got your career screwed, or do you want to go play? And they said we want to win and we want to play. I said God bless, let's go, because I think we need them all. <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. You Coach, uh, Coleman ran the ball tonight. Very well. I don't know why they didn't call his number for you. 12 yards of carry, so pretty poor, pretty poor play call. <laughs> 14 carries. So he's a good player. Bring those other guys along too. Just, uh, just to we'll go ahead. I was just gonna ask. Just defensively, it seemed like you guys like one. Pretty much. <laughs> 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 what did you think defensively? You obviously had the one, you know, bad drive early, but otherwise it looked like. You know, you got some big plays. They were good until they got worked. Uh, I mean, they were good. You know, they were three and out, and then they really worked them on a good drive. They tempoed them good. Our communication wasn't good. Getting calls, he didn't get lined up. They worked us. I mean, they they formationed us a little, substituted a little, got us out of gaps. They had a really clean, it was almost like a scripted drive. The first drive, they went three and out. It's probably some of their, their I don't know, it's probably part of their first 12, 15, 18 play drive if they scripted up. Maybe not, but they really worked us good. We come back out after, I think, Dustin with a three and out, a three and out, a turnover. I think he had a first down, another turnover. I think five of the first six drives, we had three, three and outs and two turnovers. And until that last minute blunder in the first half, it was a really pretty good defense. It was a great defense of that. What, if anything, did for you... For us, I mean, it wasn't great, but for us, that's what we need. What, what, if anything, did you learn about your team today? Um, we talked about... Would we just come out and play as hard as we could play and take all the effort and practice and do it on the game field? Because it's hard. It's like taking, if you're in the golf world, your driving range game to the course or your, your municipal game to the country club with the tips when you're playing in somebody's you know, member guest. So it's the same stuff, but now the stakes are higher. So we've worked extremely hard. It wasn't bull crap about practice were good. We didn't want one over. It was good. We were doing good. But the deal is, do you, do you have the courage to walk that, that that tightrope that my guy did at the Grand Canyon, because he walked that tightrope more than a thousand times. But now the risks are great. When you come out here on a game field to a kid, the, the risks are great. You get beat deep in practice and give up a go ball, not a big deal. Go the whole wrong way, you know, not a big deal. You know, you mess up out here tonight, you can be on ESPN blunders for life. And there's stress. You mess up for life and everybody starts laughing at your team again, hey, here we go. So those guys, there's pressure. Kids feel pressure. They know where they're at. And they know what's at stake. And so to take the good, I was, I was proud to see them take some tremendous hard work and practice and come out and work hard and get after the game. And the exciting thing, because I told us that it'll be our job to help polish you, but I should put the table in question how hard you play. And it's probably the first time since I've been here I can say, man, I thought we played pretty hard. Across the board, kick, great kicking effort. The defense was a lot better. Offense got a lot of things to build on. It was good. I just appreciate the effort. Like I said, all, all we needed from is all uh, we wanted all they had, and I thought they gave us a great go today. It could be better if it was a great go. What did you think about the guys responded after the two overs? You obviously had the three touchdowns inside of about a minute of game play. Yeah. You obviously gave up the three touchdowns inside of a minute of game play because of the two turnovers. Basically, how did you feel about just the way the guys responded for that? It looked like they came out home in after that. Uh, well, we went in real quick and talked about it. It wasn't negative. Mm -hmm. We just talked about, you know, I mean, you know, we don't get a lot of minutes out here. And a great line, we had a guy, you know, you know, had a chance to listen to the guy, you know, talking in a motivational speak, but you practice a lot more than you play, and those those plays are priceless, and they go out and represent the right way. So we just gather them up, talked about them defensively. We're getting a great effort. Offensively, we had a couple of blunders. We can't go backwards, but you know, I want to see. I, I, I like you having fun, but don't let your guard down. Don't lose your focus. I want to keep playing hard. And whether it was the hit on Shane or whatever, we came out for the most part. It was nice to see us run the ball at the end of the game and finish it out. And the defense, for the most part, played okay. Not just about Coleman, but I guess the running game in general, the blocking, just the whole thing. One it looked game. okay. I mean, again, they were outnumbering it. They were playing basically almost almost like four cross man coverage, daring you to throw, seven guys at the box. Uh, there's a point in time where you don't want to throw it every play. Uh, but we're going to play against stronger, stouter, no disrespect to the state, but stronger bad guys, bigger guys, and we've got to continue to block. But it was okay. But we got to be better. It's played six straight much much a long term jump. No, I just got a little tweak in the back. You can play at least I six. I'll practice this weekend. We'll see if he goes. He'll be back in the next.
I thought Ross, it was good to see him. It's a great story. The guy graduates early, about as bad as the injuries I've ever seen. Most guys wouldn't play. And then last year, about his way back, and he does well. Demetri Camille, good young player. And so it's kind of like Feeney. I mean, it's not ideal. Dan, uh, Peyton, Peyton's a bad young good player, and Danny's a real good player, but we got some depth in there. And those guys, it was good to get those guys work. But I think Peyton, if he doesn't go this week, he'll go the next. And I think by, you know, Look, the way he was walking, I think we'll see what the medical guys say, but he'll be close to maybe practicing or Saturday or something. He got, he got, he got, he messed his back up doing a, a good running. Just kind of tweaked his back. So just was like, my own back. You played at least six true freshmen in the first half. How did you think they performed? Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, Lorraine, you know, had a blunder. He's fast as I'll get out. The ball security. Uh, Antonio busted the coverage at the end. We, we lost contain. David Kenny, another freshman, lost contain on the scramble. So I had to throw the young guys on the bus, but it's good. It's good because they got to learn how to make those. They got to learn how to mess up, and make those plays. So those those freshmen are really good. And there's actually some really good freshmen you're not seeing because what's really going on is the whole team's better. Phyllis is better. Nigeria's better. You know, you know, they're just we got more competition. You know, and, and man, so Danny Fran played. Oh well. He'll be a good young player for us. Uh, Receiver-wise, are good, but all the guys are back. The linebackers. Those guys are pretty good. You know, class special team, Marcus Al Oliver's got pretty good. Uh, TJ's a good player. Number two is going to help us out. He's a good player. So we'll watch it. And again, I mean, I saw a couple guys make, but I saw a bunch of other guys make, 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 make blunders. The deal is, you know, I saw their heads go down. You know, like, hey, no, no, no. you got to learn how to go out and, like, walk that tightrope. You know, because, you know, you found today. But you fell in a situation where it didn't hurt us. Let's, let's learn to best. So, again, the nice thing was, you know, we came out and played hard. Stats are fair. We got a really good W, but it could be so much better. And this week, and it's not Coach Pete, but giving them more off, getting class, having a great Saturday, Sunday, because the midshipmen come in, it's going to be a big game for us. And uh, we look forward to the fans' guests. Coach, how do you, you, you feel about the defense specifically against the Ryan and Shakir Bell? And, uh, good. I know, I know you came out the, you know, did come out the second half. Yeah, get some backs passing Yeah, separate the shoulder. It was. Um, I mean, he's a good player. And, um, you know, we let him out a couple times. We had some, um, there's some times we were there, we had it, we had it, corralled, we let him out. There's a couple times where we hit, hit, hit. But I do think, see, we're getting more guys, we're sounder, we're getting more guys to the ball. I think we're playing faster. I think we're hitting okay. We do need to wrap up the tackle better. It wasn't bad, but we'll tackle, we'll need to go forward.